so good to have you here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is another Blooms For You series. Those of you that are not mentioned in this episode today, my dendrobium hibiki is back again. Yes, it is, because it has lots and lots of clusters. And in my mind, it symbolizes lots and lots of people that are not going to be mentioned here today. And for that reason, my dendrobium hibiki blooms for you, even if you're not mentioned here, as a thank you and to express my appreciation that you are here and that you are watching. So this Blooms For You series is my way of being able to hunt out my buds, my spikes. I start to allocate them on the list that I have in my database. If you comment, your name is on the list. If you subscribe, your name is on the list. And then eventually your name comes up and I have a bloom ready to go. And hence we have this series blooms for you. So if you happen to watch this video and you've never commented on any of my videos, please do so. Feel free, make yourself known so that I can add your name to the list. And eventually I will get around to be able to dedicate a bloom or a spike or a cluster of sorts for you. However, if you're not mentioned here today, Dendrobium Hibiki blooms for you. Thank you, thank you so very much for being here. Let's go and see what is going on and whose names have come up this time. Sometimes people come into your life and you just have this unconditional love out of nowhere, unconditional love. I will refer this bloom dedication to Ma Petite Fleur and Mona Chica if you ever see this video. Maybe one day you can just put it aside and when Ma Petite Fleur is big enough, let her know that in southern Spain, there's a Phalaenopsis Leodoro, sweet memory, blooming for her right now as a welcome to the world, little Mappetit Fleur. You don't know me, you probably will never know me. That is not the point. I know you and I have a beautiful, beautiful Phalaenopsis bloom to dedicate to you. Well, I can say as a thank you for being a supporter on my channel, because I know you're watching. You don't know that you're watching yet, but Mona Tika tells me you watch. And for that reason, you are a supporter of my channel. To my understanding, my youngest supporter even. So there you go. Let me tell you about this little bloom that I'm dedicating to you and why I think she is perfect for you. Your Mona Chica loves Phalaenopsis and we are still going to figure out how to get your Mona Chica to grow Phalaenopsis successfully now that I have managed to learn how to grow them successfully. This Phalaenopsis is of a different league altogether. This is a summer bloomer and she is fragrant. If I were to tell you that she smells like a candy store when you're old enough, you will understand. But when I think of you and I look at her as I'm dedicating her to you, ma petite fleur, I think of this beautiful fragrance when a baby has just come out of a bath and is all snug, cleaned up, and you get the snuggles and lovings time and the smell of fresh baby. I know that's a bit far-fetched. I don't want to sound creepy, but receive this with love, ma petite fleur, my little Phalaenopsis Leodoro sweet memory in the summer of 2021 for a gorgeous little one like you with all her pinks and very pastel peach, her beautiful, candy shop fragrance. She blooms for you. Thank you so much for bringing so much joy to my Mona Chica. And thank you for being here on my channel. Know that you are loved, unconditionally loved. So Lajani Lime Bay, fourth bloom. The orchid that just keeps on giving at a certain time of year. Fourth bloom, Fizzy Jesus. I would say Fizzy Jesus, maybe it's Fizzy Jesus. Either way, I hope you let me know in the comments below if I'm getting it wrong. However, what I haven't gotten wrong is that my Sologeny Lime Bay fourth bloom is dedicated to you, Fizzy Jesus. So pleased, we are still going strong. The blooms are still looking fine. The next bud is already developing in the back. So far, so good. Touch wood. I would like to get to 13 blooms again. Not entirely sure if I'm going to get two spikes happening again this year. Everything seems to be so behind, in my opinion, as opposed to last year. Whereas last year I was probably already on bloom seven. 
I'm here now on Bloom 4. So my quest for a double spike in 2021 is probably not going to manifest itself, but however, never mind, the orchid is doing great. Roots are going in the pot and there's a possible swelling at the base of that one growth. We shall have to wait and see what this orchid does. And for the time being, I'm actually just pleased that the hot winds have not gone and frazzled out this spike and just burnt it to crisp. And then we don't have a single bloom. Busy Jesus. I hope you like this bloom. I hope that you see this video and know that you have been recognized, that I have you on the list, that I haven't forgotten about you. And here's my Sologeny Lime Bay fourth bloom. Blooming for you, doesn't smell any different. We've still got that dusty room kind of fragrance, but it is not strong. You really have to get your nose in to the center here to be able to appreciate that fragrance. Oh my word. Money shot. The camera is not acting up today. This is fabulous. We can really get in there today. I must remember the time of day that I'm doing this. This is working a treat. Nice for a change. She is so hard to film, but not today. And look how translucent her petals and sepals are there. But she's not a flimsy bloom by no means. Not flimsy, but very delicate looking. Oh boy. What a treat. Busy Jesus. Really appreciate your support on my channel. Thank you so very, very much. I hope that everything is going well in your part of the world. If you have not ever gone to my about section as to why I came about the Ninja Orchids name for my channel, ninjas, they work behind the scenes, stealth mode. They sneak up on you and boom, they surprise you. That is why I called it Ninja Orchids. There's another reason, but that's for another video. This video is about my Zygopetalum Trozy Blue. These blooms have snuck up on me. Big surprise when I saw the buds. Never expected another blooming in the same year, 2021, but very, very welcome. And this spike I'm dedicating to Santosh K. Jayananthan. Thank you, Santosh. For your support here on my channel, Zygopetalum, second spike of 2021, for you to say thank you. I am very, very pleased, as you can probably hear by my voice. <laughs> totally unexpected, and let me tell you something. The viewfinder is washing the colors out a little bit. Previously, we had a little bit of sun on it, so it reflected a bit of yellow. But um, the color, the green, is a lime, bright lime green more intense than I remember the blooming of earlier this year, late winter. Very, very lime green, pretty much the color of the leaf. That is the color of the petals and sepals. And then the blotches, as I call them, very fancy technical term for orchid attribute markings of blooms, <laughs> the blotches are the burgundy, as I remember. But this vivid green I've never had the burgundy is also a little bit darker in real life. And when it comes to the lip, I can't describe the color of the lip without going into a royal purple, royalty purple, which leans more towards a blue as opposed to the purple that you see on camera. So this is clearly a beautiful purple also on camera. Looks nice, I love it. But if you can imagine, if you put in a dollop of two dot dollop, another fabulous technical term for how to mix and match colors, put in a dollop of blue into that purple that you see and get that royal color. That is what the blooms look like this time around. And they are probably by 50% bigger than they were the last time around as well, which is amazing. I have to say I am super impressed. I didn't even expect this third bud to make it out of the sheath. You see how a bit yellow that looks? No. Take the background of the leaves. That is what the petals and sepals look like. But you see, this spike, yeah, surprise. This is a first, if I can call it an achievement. 
Some people might go yawn, it's a zygopedalum, like yawn does that for me every time. <laughs> this is a first on Ninja Orchids. Their fragrance this time around, I don't have any kind of the spiciness that I could observe last time. This is now just like a rose, your classic rose fragrance. And it's not as strong if the sun isn't around. I'm, I'm very late afternoon now, and it's pretty much done with its fragrance for the day, but tomorrow it'll pick up again. And it lives right now in my dining room where the temperatures are at around a steady 25 degrees Celsius, sometimes 30, where I sit at my desk and edit away. And I am blessed to smell this even from four meters away. Very, very strong when it exudes its fragrance. So Santosh K. Jayantan by Zygopetalum Trozy Blue blooms for you to say thank you to you for supporting me here on my channel. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so very, very much. This is Catlia Durigan, Crucero do Sul. First time bloomer here at Ninja Orchid. <laughs> yes, very, very happy. And I have four blooms. And because they're just so gorgeous and substantial, and massive, I felt that I could dedicate a single bloom to each of you. Fabricante Din Ciment, Relaxing ASMR, Nicole and Mai Schlange. There you go, my Durigan Crucero do Sul, por fin está en casa. Thank goodness, a wish list orchid and her blooms on my patio. Haven't had an issue with this orchid since I got her which makes it an even bigger bonus. The worst thing is to get a wishless orchid and then it's a problem, not an issue with this one at all. She came, she saw, she didn't have to conquer. I was already in love, but now that she's bloomed, it's like woof, wasted cartwheels around the patio. Everything I thought that she would be, she is, which also ticks all the boxes. Sometimes you see something, you want something, you look forward to it, you get it and then the blooms come and you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting them to be like this. And then you have to love it because it was your wish list orchid. And all these kind of things happen in your mind and there's a bit of a turmoil. Not the case with this one at all. Gorgeous, fragrant, Catlia fragrance, rose, a typical rose fragrance. The only thing is, of course, there is no knockout exotic kind of fragrance on this orchid. It's a beautiful classic rose fragrance with a little bit of a dry, if I can say that note in the background, dry meaning like if you were to smell paper, something like that. A rose scented paper, maybe something that you got on a love letter, similar to that, but look at that. I have a little bit of afternoon sun now showing onto the petals and you can see that she's, she really looks like she's gonna jump out at you at the screen. If, the, if you have 3D goggles, you'd probably think that's what you're looking at. I can keep going on and on and find all kinds of adjectives to make my point. <laughs> <clears throat> I hope I've made my point, but let's get back to saying thank you to Fabricante Din Ciment, Relaxing ASMR, Nicole and Mai Schlange. Your support on my channel is so much appreciated. It's been probably since January. I think I'm now coming towards the end of January 21 with regards to the names on my list for bloom dedications. Fabricante in Ciment, Relaxing ASMR, Nicole and Mai Schlange. Four very sticky, full of happy sap, Durigan blooms. They bloom for you. Thank you ever, ever so much. Neostylus Loose Leary back in the house for Glenda McDonald and Alicia Hill. Thank you ladies so very much for your support on my channel. I am very pleased to be able to present you with a gorgeous, gorgeous flush of blooms from my Neostylus Loose Leary's as a massive thank you to you for supporting me here on my channel. I have to tell you that I was kind of hesitant about the blooming of Loose Leary this year because the orchid herself suffered some cold damage and I've had some magnesium deficiency occur and appear and all these things I was thinking, oh well, we might get a spike out of it. There'll be some beautiful blooms to see, 
but not something as abundant as this that would warrant two names to be able to dedicate this spike to. And I'm really, really excited, thrilled to bits. And here comes the sun washing out the colors a bit. So let me scoot her into the shade a little more because we can really appreciate those blooms much better if they're not getting washed out. Very, very cute. I haven't counted them. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 in total. That would make, well, that matches last year. So there's still a few buds to open, but she is at her prime right now. And I like to be able to do these clips when the blooms are at their prime, at their freshest. And now that my Neophenicia falcata has bloomed out, I don't have that fragrance to enjoy at night anymore, but the Lucneri has taken over. The Neophenicia falcata fragrance is back, but during the day, bonus, I don't have to disturb Mr. and Mrs. Gecko at night. <laughs> I can come out and she is very, very obvious in my blooming alley. And because she hangs very, very close to the Tulumnias, they are not fragrant. I know exactly how strong my Neo is at this point in time. I'm standing about three feet away and I can smell her from right here, which makes filming this clip so much fun because fragrance, beautiful blooms in the viewfinder. What can I say? Glenda McDonald and Alicia Hill. What can I say? Well, the answer to that question is thank you. Thank you very, very much for your support on my channel. I hope that both of you are doing well in your part of the world. My Neo Stylist Lou Sneary, she blooms for you. First time bloomer for me here on my patio. A bloom dedication from my Dendrobium antenatum goes to Hillbilly Orchids. Paula, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm really pleased to be able to, yes, I know three blooms yeah, for an antenatum. That's probably not that generous, but that doesn't reflect how grateful I am for your support here on my channel. So the quantity is not exactly reflecting the gratitude for your support. I'm just so happy I finally get to see an antenatum because I have had some mislabeled orchids that turned out to be something else. And there's always been this fight for me to get an antenatum and a stratiotes. But well, we'll settle with antenatum for now and she hasn't disappointed. The one thing I am extremely surprised about though is the size of her blooms. You can see she is very, very tiny. That is not a big bloom at all. Everything is very delicate about her. I don't detect the fragrance, but I do, do love, well, antelope orchids as such anyway. I just enjoy seeing them and they take forever to open, which was a surprise. Next time I'm going to take a picture because I thought actually this spike wouldn't make it. That's how long it took to open because they would be pinched at the end for the longest time like a little alien cone. It looks amazing. And I'm going to document that for a community post when the next spikes open because I have another one over here. I have another one back there. So this is a Floralia order of 2021 and I potted her up into lava rock. It is a self-watering system, but it's more like a hybrid. Just me retaining the moisture with the lava rock and she's going bonkers. She is not pot bound. She's still as unstable as she was the first day, but because of her vigor, I'm just like, you know what? You bloom, I've been waiting for blooms like this for ages. After all the disappointment of having mislabeled orchids bloom out, not what it said on the label. And um, yeah, growth's coming in galore. She is going to not be unstable for very long once the roots follow. So I'm really pleased I did you know, I was hesitating on the lava rock setup because it is very unforgiving, but you know what? This orchid apparently is super, super vigorous. So I am going to go with that and enjoy the fact that if I have to up pot her, well, that's good news too, isn't it? Now I have a cloudy day. Can you believe it? I thought I would film these on a cloudy day, but hey, sorry about that, Paula. Hillbilly orchids. I love hearing from you. I love seeing your comments. I love the banter between you and Michael. 
I want to say thank you so very, very much. Using my three Dendrobium antenatum blooms to show my appreciation for the support you give me here on my channel. I hope you are doing well, Paula. If you've watched to the end, thank you for your time. Really, really appreciate it. Once again, let me encourage you to leave me a comment. Let me encourage you to subscribe, make yourself known either way. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.